a tuna fish and grits. After all, it's a classic Bayman breakfast. And if you haven't had it, I'm so sorry. But have you ever wondered if you could elevate it? Could you make it better? Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to take you on a rendezvous, a journey into Flavortown. Since this is a Bahamian breakfast, first thing I'm going to do is, is, you know, make some tea because... I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, I was drinking like tea and bread every single day. This is Brazilita. It looks like an old dirty piece of wood that I picked up in the yard, but no, it's actually really delicious. This is kind of the thing that they use to make the Campari and stuff. So I'll take off some shards of that, put that in the pot. Lemongrass or fever grass. I have some star anise. I'm gonna put some cloves so we can pretend like we're making some spiced tea. This is kind of like what real spiced tea is supposed to be like. You get a lot of that fresh, delicious flavors so here you go so instead of having those old dehydrated flavors you're gonna have some of the most delicious tea that you could ever imagine and just let that simmer in the back here i get some butter on i put a little bit of uh white wine in it to like not let it burn or anything like that and what happens is when you poach things in butter it actually seals all of the flavors and thing into the meat like how if I, this was like water i was flavors would come out this is like some of that pepper seasoning thing, you know, with the gold pepper and salt. So I'm gonna Bahamian season this. And rub some of that on now. Because I wanna get some of that, you know, that under the dock kind of a vibe going on with the tuna. And this, again, is fresh tuna. It's not that tuna that's probably been in the can like half a million years that you don't even know when it was packed. It's probably like, gonna be overcooked because that's kind of what they do they you know cook it real fast I mean cook it really really done and then freeze it really fast and then you know they put it in a can to can it to preserve it but like when you get like fresh tuna this is like this is like new love and I put it in the little butter tub because we care about it I need a portable zinc. I'm gonna do it with the onion. Of course, this is the traditional things that you would put in there. Uh, you put like onion, sweet pepper, some celery. You know, like in New Orleans, they call this the Trinity. In the Bahamas, we just call it onion, sweet pepper, and celery. You actually had a pretty cool breakfast because, you know, sometimes you could go and buy the stuff and people decide that they're not really gonna put much, much vegetables inside the tuna. Like, this is how you know that they actually care. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of celery in there. And I'm gonna use a little bit of bell pepper as well. So what I'm gonna do, add some peppers to that. Slide that on the side. And let's go check our fish. You see that? I'm gonna poach this on the other side a little. It's getting there. Okay. So that is the bowl that the magic is gonna take place in. All right. I'm gonna take a piece of napkin. Pat this dry. Hmm, it's perfect. See how that tears apart? Ah, it's hot! I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for a couple of seconds. And let that get. Is this full? Come on. Yes, I'm gonna put this in the fridge for a second. And that's not gonna take long at all. Okay, we're almost there. Mm. I wonder if this part, like when you watch the pot. When you see a big plate, you know if somebody means business. I just put it in the fridge, didn't I? Oh. I, just, I can't 
Oh, dang it! I got it, I got it! Woo! Yes, two weeks later. Yeah. No, I, I feel like, I've been, like I'm on an episode of Survivor. I can't do it. I've not developed that skill yet. And then, so now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and piece that up. Or I could just put it on the board, maybe. Like if I was here by myself, I'd just break it up. So yes, we could break it up. And this is how I give the tuna a nice little tuna massage. I make sure that the tuna gets comfortable and that it knows that it's loved. We care about it, you know? So now, since we have our tuna, I'm gonna take this, put this in there. This is our onions, our sweet pepper, gold pepper. And you would want a little bit of that spice in there because it would have probably mellowed a whole lot even when it was on the the, um, the fish I'll prove it taste it uh, chefs don't do that I'll add us a hint of seasoning to that definitely not going to use lemon because from what I understand, it's been scientifically proven that lemons cut your courage. And I want to be very courageous after eating this tuna salad. So we, we go with the lime. I mean, that's the Caribbean secret they don't want you to know about. And then where is that? A little bit of really good quality. This were like the tuna lotion so I just want to smear it over that a little and let me let me just give that wow Okay. Mm. Hold on. You know those things that you eat, right? And when you eat it, it's almost like the flavor and the taste of it just continually like changes as you eat it. I need this pear, cracked black pepper. Take some of that infused butter. infused butter. And just because we want everybody to know that this is really fresh and we love them very, very, very much. Oh, is this one was for 99 cents. This one will be for 19.99. Why? Paul, where are you? Speak to me, Paul. Oh. 